Over the past two years, Filipinos have had to celebrate their Holy Week in isolation. Lent, at the time of COVID, was a painful detachment from everything that fueled their faith. Churches and other places of worship were closed. There were no processions, days-long prayers, and mock crucifixions. Everyone had to stay put. Masses were televised or live-streamed. Priests preached on empty pews, and pet owners took their dogs and cats to drive by blessings. All that finally came to an end this year. Churches were again brimming with people eager to express their faith in public. A sprawling national shrine south of the capital, Manila, had 7,000 sitting on its pews, standing on its hallways and doorways, and walking around its courtyard at any given hour. In fiercely devout Catholic towns north of Manila, the processions of men dressed as Roman centurions and Hebrews and lavishly decorated floats with statues of Christian saints were back. So were the blood-soaked rituals of men atoning for their sins by flogging themselves with bamboo whips tipped with thorns. The Holy Week celebration this year is very much different from last year because there is the intensity of the faithful, that uh, longing, that desire to be in the church physically. And because of that, they have been deprived for the past two years of the pandemic because of fear. This time, there is a great eagerness to join and participate. Uh, they are more courageous and hopeful because uh, they feel more, I don't know, a sense of community or belongingness, that sense of, I think, they are more, they felt more secured perhaps by seeing each other, be present with one another, and praying together. Of course, there's an inner joy that we felt as priest, as preacher, because now we can, there is a real communication, unlike before, we are looking at a screen talking as if talking to ourselves, but this time there is a real connection. They felt more secured perhaps by seeing each other, be present with one another, and praying together. I think that makes a lot of big difference, that uh, in the midst of crisis and health pandemic like the COVID, the presence of one another, the kind of support system is strongly felt because there, there is a real presence and communion. And they are praying one another uh, for each other. And they are praying to God, they experience God's presence through the presence of each other.